Hey guys, so it's been a long time since I've done a video like this. Um, yeah, especially video games. I haven't done video game updates in a very long time. Oh, well, I haven't done any updates really in a very long time. And uh, I apologize for that. Uh, just been crazy busy with just things going on in my life. And um, But anyway, a uh, short kind of like quick little teaser. You guys get to see part of my new dedicated game room which uh, video games for me have been really pushed aside for years. Uh, all this stuff was in storage uh, for the last five or six years now. Because um, I think if you actually go back, um, I think I did like a few updates of like video games, but it was very select. And uh, one of the main reasons why I did that was because I knew I had a lot of games. Well, anyway, I don't, I don't have a lot, a lot of games, but I do have a, a few games. <laughs> so, um, and I realized if I keep buying games, Will I ever get the chance to play all of them? So that's why I always I decided a few years back to cut back. Um, but anyway, uh, with this new game room being built, uh, which eventually I'll do a tour on, not quite yet, it's not ready yet. But um, anyway, uh, you do get to see a little bit of a little bit of time lapse with me building it, but it's not near complete yet. So, but um, anyway, uh, there are a few things that I've been wanting to get for a long time. Or stuff that I sold off years ago and wanted to get back in the collection so um, I got a few so uh, or they just got thrown out over the years too so I'll save the big box for last so we'll start off with the stuff that I don't need to unbox that's the other thing it's also an unboxing video I think that's what I'm most famous for with this channel I think I've done so many unboxings over the years I think that's what everybody likes to see so but uh, anyway so I'll start off with uh, reacquiring back in the collection Probably, I thought it was like four or five years ago, apparently it was almost ten years ago now, um, I got rid of my Sega Saturn, which actually I'm kind of kicking myself because I realized recently uh, when I, well one, I wanted to get it back in the collection, but two, I think, I don't even know if it was about ten, maybe like eight years ago. Anyway, the person that I did the deal with, um, it, was, it was actually, I think it was more of a trade than a sell. And I think I realize now I kind of got screwed over, but um, in the end, at this point, I really don't care. It's a long time ago at this point, so I'm just moving forward and just rebuying what I had. And I didn't have a lot for the Sega Saturn. So um, one of the games I knew I wanted to pick up again for the Sega Saturn was Independence Day. Um, I do have this game on uh, the PC, and I wanted to get it for the Sega Saturn as well. So I'm really happy, and it is complete, and uh, these games aren't rare by any means, but uh, it is complete, which is great, because mine was complete. In fact, I think the case, this case is actually better shaped than mine was. It does have a crack in the back, which all Sega Saturn games cases are like that. Um, it's really hard to, uh, ooh, for focus being messed up here. Come on. I'm using my phone. Uh, eventually, oh, I hope that, actually, you know what, let me, uh, I just realized that, that fan might be driving you guys crazy. I hope it didn't kill the first three minutes of the video. But um, anyway, I'll turn it off for you guys. I forgot all about that. Audio quality. It's out the window today. I'm not even using any audio setup whatsoever. Eventually, uh, when I start to uh, make dedicated videos again, I'll make sure I'll have a proper setup with uh, my DSLR and uh, external mic and all that. So uh, It's been a while, guys. Anyway... Um, so yeah, got it back in the collection. This is one of the two games I remember I owned. So this is one, and then, uh, well, I guess I'll do the unboxing for this one, because this is the second game. Um, unboxing. This is the, see, it's more of a package than a box, so. And I think actually both these games are actually in better shape than the ones that I had. Uh, I think even disc shape wise, well of course I haven't opened up, I haven't checked, I haven't checked this one yet. But from what I could tell from the internet uh, photos, it looked like actually these were actually in much better shape than my original copies were, which is great. No, actually I think probably, two, uh, anyway, if I just spoil it, Tomb Raider. So uh, I had this. For the Sega Saturn as well, and whoops, looks like it popped out. But uh, actually, the disc ain't bad. I think mine had a bit more scratches. So, 
Uh, I had not picked up the Sega Saturn, Sega Saturn console yet, which uh, actually brings back to... Oh, I guess that is a nasty... Uh, let's see if we can get this out of here. That is a little bit of a nasty crack, ain't it? Well, let's see if I can super glue that. I do have some super glue up here. So, um, to me, that's not big, that big of a deal. Um, I do know there are guys that sell replacement cases and stuff. Uh, so eventually I'll just replace the case if I feel it's needed, but uh, that's extremely common with these cases Especially how old they are now and I don't know you just drop them. You can just drop them and they'll crack like that. So So anyway, uh, yeah, uh, before I just put, put, Toss them aside. Uh, I do not have the console yet, but I did want to pick up the games because they're cheap um, I do want to get the console with the original box and um, That's gonna cost me a little bit because uh, you know want everything complete in the box in the original so uh it doesn't have it does obviously not factory seal i'm not gonna do that that's crazy money but uh i do want to get because i did have it in the original box i do want to um, pick it up uh the way i had it so um and these are the only two games i can remember had there was like i had maybe four or five games and what the other three were i don't remember so um but it's kind of exciting because now that i realize i want to now that i have a dedicated game room um, I do plan on um, adding bits and pieces to certain parts of the collection I know I need to fill uh, and also rebuilding old ones so that's cool uh, another actually you know I forgot to grab my copy but uh, I don't think it really matters um, I did repurchase this uh, not because I got rid of it but well I didn't sell it or anything uh, I think I ended up just throwing it out uh, is I got complete in box the original Rogue Squadron for PC. Um, so I do remember have this is the edition I had. There's like f three or four different editions of this uh, PC because it was released throughout the years. Um, this is the one I had. Uh, in fact, the booklet, the man, the, the the manual, the instruction manual for how to hook it up, how to um, the, the 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 game manual, but also the keyboard and joystick control manual. That's the, it's the same, it, I checked on the inside, it's all the same as, uh, in fact, one of the things I was really surprised that I completely forgot about, uh, which I was happy the original, the previous owner left in there for me, um, mine did not come with a jewel case, so it actually came in a paper sleeve. I did replace the paper sleeve with a, um, um, a better jewel case, um, just because, uh, I, this is actually in really good shape. I checked the back of it, and there's like maybe just a slight haze of a scratch here and there. But compared to my copy that I still have, uh, which actually I think, I don't know if I have it in paper sleeve or not. It's over there somewhere. Um, my copy, I'm surprised it even plays. It does play. It, it does actually boot up and run. So I'm just, I'm always blown away by that. So it just... <laughs> But uh, the, the instruction booklet, which I think I actually have it still somewhere. And then also comes with the how to set up the joystick and the keyboard controls, which is kind of nice. Uh, of course, now I think this is something you probably, that autofocus is going to drive me insane. Um, yeah, something you could probably obviously Google at this point. But um, anyway, it's nice to have uh, how to set it up. So um, I actually got to find my original joystick. Uh, for the PC, but what's also nice is this is actually something I forgot is that um, And I'll have to see if this is all of them. I don't think so Yeah, I, I, I think it's probably been at least close to like 15 Yeah, I'd say at least 15 years since I actually played the game um, But uh, the actual cheat codes for unlocking certain things throughout the game and he was nice to keep it in the uh, the uh, obviously he obviously had him for him and then he kept it in the box so that way you never lose them and I'm glad they're in there because uh, I completely forgot about that um, I do remember um, um, year, many years ago when I, when I played the game I had all the cheat codes written down um, but where they went they were just on like a scrap piece of paper like he had it and I'm sure they got thrown out years ago I do remember this box I, I do especially the back I do remember the box like this and I did have it for a while, and then probably about 10 or 15 years ago, it just got chucked. It just got destroyed over the years. And uh, But anyway, this is one of my favorite games. I do have um, 
the N64. I don't have it complete in box, but I do have the cart. And then I also have the um, the sequels on GameCube. I do have the sequels on GameCube. Um, but, um, yeah, they're, they're great games. I love them. Um, yeah. Um, so I'm really happy to have it complete in the box, you know, as a collector's piece. Um, so, and plus it's also nice to have that backup copy in case mine ever decides to actually finally die. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's nice to have. All right. And then finally, this is something I've been wanting probably 20 years. I've been, I'm getting old now. Um, this is something I, I think it came out probably in the 90s. It had to be in the 90s. Um, my cousin had it. And I remember seeing this as a kid and I'm like, oh, I want that. You know, I always wanted it. But um, I just never knew where to get one. I mean, I do remember there were, back in that time, they still had computer stores, actual computer stores. Um, but I never, I just, I don't know, I just never told my parents, you know, I ever wanted it or whatever. And I actually, like I, you know, like I said, probably like 20 years ago, I forgot all about it. And then I think a few years back, I remembered it and just never bothered to ever check online to see how much they go for. And um, anyway, because I got this game room recently, and I think I just had a dream a couple weeks ago remembering this. And I'm like, I should check to see how much they go for online now. Um, see how, if it's rare or not. And it's not rare. But um, anyway, it's it's kind of funny because it is a child. It is, a, you know, it's a little kid's game. But I was like, this is something I always wanted. And it's not that expensive to get. So anyway, let me unbox it for you to see what am I talking about. So let's hope it's in decent shape because I don't think he really packaged it too well with padding. But, uh, and the nice part is, I never saw it with the original box, and I found it with the original box. Because when my cousin had it, he just had a, the, the, the game outside the box. I never actually have, ever saw the box. So, oh no, he put a little wrap in it. That helps. Ah, oh, not much. Let's take that out of there. Nope. I think it has my, eh, it has my name on it, so I don't want to share that. But, uh, anyway. Uh, alrighty. Let's see, take all the bubble wrap out, and, ah, here it is, I think that's it, this is the, what is it called, Star Wars Mill Millennium Falcon CD-ROM playset, and I remember my cousin had this playset, and what it does is, it sits on top of your computer keyboard, um, I actually had a Tonka game years ago, which, it's actually something I'm actually looking to get back in the collection. You know, these games are for, what, uh, five and up. So, little kids games. But it's just kind of like a cool concept that you could you could mount a different playset onto a keyboard so kids can play it. Um, I want to check. I could have sworn it actually had the figures. Looks like he might have retaped it. I don't think this is factory sealed, is it? So, I hate to open it to find out this is still factory sealed. It looks like it might be original tape because, I don't know. Well, you know what? I'll open it because I want to know if the figures inside um, are there or not. Because uh, you can buy this um, online just to place it alone, but... Um, I'll see if the figures are in there. Oh yeah, this is definitely factory sealed because the game is factory sealed. <laughs> so there's the. Uh, I guess I just opened it. No, oh, that's all right. Honestly, in the end, I just I kind of want to play it too. So um, I could buy it cheaper. I wonder if the where are the figurines? Huh. But. Uh, I don't think they're on that side, but, uh, huh, unless you had to buy them separately, I don't know, I don't think, oh, there they are, no, this can't be, fact. this, this is not factory sealed, I think he, I think he retaped it, 
because uh, I think in the pictures he did show the figures and I can see they're moving around. So let's, uh, um, I'll go to the uh, instructional book. Slide it out. Yep. Just want to be careful with it. I'm not sure where all the figures move to. And I'm struggling with this thing. Sheesh. What are you caught on? No, oh, no, actually, I think this thing is actually factory sealed. He must have used a pitcher from a different thing. So it looks like, because this is all sealed there, and I, like I said, I saw the game. The game just seemed like it's sealed. Well, whatever. When did this come out? Does it actually say when this came out? I mean, Windows 95, that's probably got a data right there. So it's got to be from uh, 1998. Yep, 1998. So for 22 years, this has been sealed. Eh, whatever. You know what? I don't care. I'm not that kind of collector. Well, it depends. Plus, uh, I'd rather have the figures sitting in their seats versus being on the floor. Unless they were in their seats and they just fell out through, uh, was caught. I just want to rip the box, that's all. It's caught right there. There we go. Slide it right out on the floor. And let's see, Han Solo is right here. I think it had Chewbacca too. Yes, I thought it did. Oh yes, he's got he's uh well that's not Chewbacca. Where is Chewie? Huh. I don't know. Well actually let's take a look at the game. Is the, the game factory sealed? I'm not sure how the hell you get it out of there. This is pretty wedged in there good. Yeah, the game is still factory sealed. So I don't think this thing was ever really opened ever. So, But Chewy seems to be missing. So that, to me, seems like it should be. Well, that's still a seal right there. That's not just retaped on there. That's actually... Well, anyway... As you can clearly see, it's the Millennium Falcon. And also the turret um, seat as well. And, uh, wow, look at Han Solo here. I think he was strapped on here. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, so there's Han. Come on, guy. Come on. Autofocus. Come on. Come on. Promise it's using. So anyway, I can, no, uh, promise it goes up. Yeah, let me, let me get closer then. There you go. No, come on. Come on. There we go. Kind of see him. Problem is he's using the fake facial recognition, so that's why it's focusing on me and nothing else. But I could have sworn Chewie was with him, but, uh, oh well, I have a couple Chewbacca, um, obviously, uh, figures that I could use if I can't seem to, I don't know where he'd be hiding, though. But, uh, We'll set Han right here, so you can see. But uh, yeah, this is cool. Um, now you can buy these. You can pick up the actual like playset part. Let's focus. This thing's being annoying. Anyway, um, I probably not can use my phone after this. I'll have to go back to a camera, an actual camera. Um, Anyway, the playset sets on top of the keyboard, as it kind of shows right there. And then um, you can actually buy the playset by itself. There's may lots of them. But sometimes, like, the uh, um, cockpit windows shattered or the turret gun parts broken. And this is all complete except for Chewbacca, which uh, I don't know where he would be hiding because he's not in this piece. Unless it didn't come with Chewie, which I highly doubt. I would have thought Chewbacca would have came with him. 
Maybe not. I don't know. Because all the pictures in the back show just Han. Maybe it's just Han, but of course you could always just use your um, your also your other figurines to. Uh, oh, that must be so you put that in there. That's kind of cool. Assuming that just slides right there. That's cool. Yeah, even the instruction manual only shows Han. So maybe it's just Han. Well, anyway, this thing was brand new factory sealed for 22 years. So, uh, and I opened it. <laughs> That's okay. I really don't care. But apparently he was strapped there. It's like, there was a piece of him that was still holding on there. So, That's okay. Anyway, um, eventually I'll, uh, I'm actually going to play this game. So, because <laughs> I just want to try it. I know it's, like I said, for five-year-olds. But, uh, hey, when you're... It's kind of like one of those you know, it's Star Wars, you know, it's awesome. So, but uh, now the fun part, sticking it back in. Let's see. So it's actually kind of cool for me, or as a factor for me, uh, that I actually got this brand new factor sealed. Um, I'm wondering if the previous owner was either just a Star Wars collector and bought it and never opened it type of thing. But, uh, I, might, I might message him to find out uh, why he never opened it. Or if he is the original owner, I don't know. Um, I'll tell you what, getting it through this box is more of a pain in the butt than anything. I might have to edit this video. <laughs> this is like half the video is me just struggling with this thing. Yeah, I probably will edit this video at some point. Come on. There we go. Oh, he fell over. <laughs> no, that's alright. And we'll put the instruction guide and all that. It's back over here. Close this up, and he fell over. Okay. There we go. Cool. It's in the seat. Cool. Come on. Focus. There we go. Lots of glare, but there you go. How cool is that? That's so cool. So, it's it's something that's been on my list for a long time to get. Uh, in fact, let me see what you listed as. Uh, just thank you. Yeah, it's just this interactive CD-ROM playset. It doesn't say, like, new or used on it, so. But anyway, that is so, I'm going to keep that, so for the record, I remember when I actually bought this thing. But anyway, so I actually got two Star Wars things today. So yeah, I got that playset. I got, like I said, uh, Star Wars, a Rogue Squadron PC game. Which isn't rare either. That I was actually surprised. I was expecting to pay a lot of money at this point for something like that. Because uh, I always thought the Rogue, especially the first Rogue Squadron, was so good. Um, but even the even I was actually surprised. I thought I got you know about five or six. Eh, it was probably more like six or seven years ago when I bought the GameCube games. Uh, I paid ten bucks a piece for them, and it seems like they're still around that price now, which I'm pretty surprised about. But uh, and then of course. Um, uh, little Sega Saturn games, so kind of cool. Uh, it's kind of like a relief knowing I still got I got those back in the collection, and then eventually I'll just go out and buy the uh, Wild Odds order online and get the Sega Saturn uh, console. So, which uh, I think it'll be cool. So, well, thank you guys. I do have a few other things coming in the mail, so you can look forward to another unboxing video um, coming up, or at least maybe an update. I don't know, depending on what I decide. Um, and then, of course, further down the line, you'll be able to see a new room tour. So, Oh, and in case you're wondering, for the people that uh, who not only follow me for my video games, but also for my movie collection, yes, I will have a dedicated movie room, too. Well, movie collection room. Um, I have officially decided I'm going to have a 
just a dedicated room for just my media. And then what I'm actually going to watch my movies on will be a separate room. So I'll actually be my living room. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a long time since I've done any kind of video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, please give this uh, video a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And until our next video, which should be, like I said, this autofocus is going to drive me crazy. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, see you later. Bye.